The following report contains flash photography. After all the talk of change, it is more of the same for Malaysia. A relief for Prime Minister Najib Razak after the polls have predicted a much tighter race and perhaps vindication for his policy of cautious reform. His party has certainly proved its impressive staying power. For Anwar Ibrahim and the coalition of opposition parties he leads, this was a heavy blow. The optimism of their spirited campaign now swept aside by the reality of defeat. Even the comfort of his daughter's win in her constituency didn't ease the bitterness he felt over a long list of abuses that he believes robbed his movement of seats in Parliament. We have uh, appealed to our supporters uh, to maintain calm, ensure there's peace, and uh, voice the protest but clearly, very loudly. They should not be seen, deemed to be weak and condone these excesses, this crime of stealing uh, the elections in this manner. There were certainly problems during the election. This man complained that the indelible ink, which is meant to prevent double voting, could easily be washed off. The opposition has collected evidence of other irregularities. But how much these affected the result is hard to say. The process of election is free and fair, transparent. That's why you find big voters turn out. If the voters don't come to vote, that means they are not confident. The fact that they come such a big numbers that means they are confident in the process of election. Well, there's an understandably festive atmosphere here at the headquarters of the ruling party as it celebrates a remarkable 13th consecutive term of office. How it won that term is already the subject of heated debate. And it won't be easy to ignore the clamour that we've heard during this campaign for greater transparency and fairness in Malaysian politics. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Kuala Lumpur.